hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create or customize a pdf paper size if you're trying to create a pdf in automation and then uh, you go here to the template and once you click once you click the the view And then you wanted to resize this, you go to File and Page Setup. Page Setup. Then there is no option for you here to choose the uh, the length size, the width size. There are only some um, options here to select. So thermal printer is not listed here, which is 80 by 80. So if you wanted to do that size, so there is a way to do that is you go to the extension and then get add-ons then once you go to the to the marketplace just type this page sizer and then this is the this is the one and then just installed it once you installed it uh, you go to the extension and you can see this uh, add-ons here so then you can just click set page size then over here you have an option for if you wanted the units by inches or you want you wanted it millimeters since um app sheet it's here when you go to the uh custom page uh, attachment uh this is measured by millimeters so i will choose millimeters here then so, then here is the width let's say it's 80 since I have a thermal printer and it's a continuous paper, I would maybe put 500 here and I click apply. As you can see, it changed the paper size and then you can rearrange your columns accordingly here. Then once you're done for this, don't forget to balance it as well in app sheet. So over here is in the page attachment size, you must select custom. Then here the height, say it's 500. And then the width, let's say here, it's 80 millimeter. Then save. Now let's try if the paper size changes accordingly. I'm going to try to add a new data. All right, for example. Okay, let's say, all right. So total Now let's see All right so it changed the paper size uh, to your desired size, let's say this is 80 by uh, 500, what I choose. So this is how you resize the paper size in automation. And if you learn something in this video, don't forget to subscribe. Or if you have any comments, leave it at the comment section. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.